Praise the Lord. Good morning, wonderful brothers and sisters in the Lord. I know a lot of us are hiding before the presence of the Lord, taking life very cool and quiet. And I believe that we are seeking God's face and desiring for moments with Him to draw breath from the Most High. We thank you, we thank the Lord, that indeed as we wait on him, he will give us a spirit without measure. Let's pray. So Father, we thank you for bringing us into your fear. We bless your name, O oh God, for giving us understanding of your fear. We bless your name for bringing us into another journey, another phase in the journey of the fear of God. And I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that today you will bless us. Today you will touch us. Today you will move upon our hearts with such grace that as we come into your word, Father, we will receive more than enough. For your spirit will give to us more than what we have asked, more than what we have sought. For you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, Above all that we ask, we dare think or request, dream or envisions or hope for. We thank you because your spirit that is at work within us will make this available to us as a people. I pray that you will heal the sick today. I pray that you comfort those who mourn in Zion. I pray that you will raise the dead today. I pray that you touch the lives of your people today. I pray that you transform the lives of men and women today. I pray that you bring hope to your people and you will open doors for those who have no hope in God. We give a praise and we give a glory for meeting the needs of your people right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Today, we have come to day two of our series on the fear of of the Lord. I want to take our text from the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Ecclesiastes is a book written by the preacher. Solomon was referred to as the preacher in this book. A preacher because he had gained experience. A preacher because he has made some observations in life. A preacher because he was sharing his experience with his generation and we have become part of his generation, of that generation and that audience. Solomon is a man that has experienced a lot of things. Just as I said yesterday, Solomon himself has been a man with some issues of the fear of God. He desired that you and I will not miss it, but we will find ourselves fearing God. Let's read the scriptures. And I'm reading from the book of Amplify. All has been heard. The end of the matter is, fear God. Revere and worship Him, knowing that He is, and keep His commandments. For this is the whole of man, the full original purpose of His creation, the object of God's providence, the root of character, the foundation of all happiness, the adjustment to all inharmonious circumstances and conditions under the sun, and the whole duty of every man. This is Solomon, the man who concluded in life that everything under the sun, everything beneath the earth, anything and everything within the realm of creation that does not have divine endorsement, God's value in it, are actually vain. So he kept saying vanity upon vanity all was vanity. But Solomon even though concluded that all was vanity without God, yes, Solomon also concluded that the fear of God is the conclusion and the end of the matter. Today we are talking about the fear of the Lord or the fear of God being the bottom line. The fear of God is the bottom line. What is the bottom line? Anything or any time we read or 
come across the word the bottom line or bottom line, we are talking about that which is the primary. We are talking about something that is the most important. We are talking about the very essentials. The bottom line of anything and everything is the most critical, is the most essential, is the crux of the matter. The fear of the Lord is the crux of the matter. Whether you are educated or non-educated, whether you have money or no money, whether you have degrees or no degrees, whether you are in, you are you are political power and clout or financial power or financial clout or not, the fear of the Lord is the summary of all things. And Solomon put six essential nuggets in this verse alone. So let's look at it as we go through our devotion. He says that the fear of the Lord is the whole of man. In other words, without the fear of the Lord, all of us will be unwholesome. And anything that is unwholesome is not made for consumption. It's not accepted. Anything that is unwholesome is rejected by men and trash to the trash can. Number two, it says that the fear of the Lord is the full original purpose of our creation. The full original purpose of our creation. We were created to do many things. We were created to exhibit our giftings, our abilities. We were created to manifest even the things we carry inside of us. But Solomon is saying, the number one original full purpose for the reason for which God made us is that we will give God reverence, that we will fear God. In other words, if we do not fear God, then we have not discovered our number one purpose for which God made us or created us. He said again that the fear of God is the object of God's providence, the object of God's providence. In other words, without the fear of the Lord, God will bring his providence of blessing, his providence of grace, his providence of goodness, but there will be no reflection. We know in mathematics that we have objects and we have reflections. It takes an object for a reflection to occur. Without an object, there cannot be reflections or shadows of things even to be experienced. But Solomon is saying, it is the fear of God that reflects the providence of God's goodness in our lives. So my brothers and sisters, I pray that you and I will come to the place where we provide God with the object that will give us the right to be able to receive the providence of God. Number four, Solomon said in this in this verse, in the Amplified Version, that the fear of the Lord is the root of character. A lot of us pray that God should give us character. A lot of us pray that God should help us to be men and women of character. But Solomon is saying that if we want character, the root of character is the fear of God. In other words, once we have the fruit of the, 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 fear, the fear of the Lord, the fear of God in our lives, then we have the basis even for character. We know in agriculture that rooting is the first sign of life for every plant. That is why for every plant to germinate, that plant must be must root, must have root, must find root. So the fear of God being the root of character. So once we have the fear of God, we can bear the fruits of character. We can have the branches of character. We can show the leaves of character in our lives. And everybody will see that we are men and women of character. Number five. The fear of the Lord is the foundation of all happiness. Everybody wants to be happy in life. Everybody wants to be happy. Everyone, everybody wants to be happy. We want to be happy. I want to be happy. I want my wife to be happy. I want my children to be happy. I want my pastors around me to be happy. I want my congregation members to be happy. I want everybody to be happy. I want to see a generation of men and women who are happy and working and operating in happiness. But Solomon said, for you to be happy, it is the fear of God. This is Solomon, a man of parties a man of many wines, a man of refreshment, a man that can actually chill. He's a chilly man. Solomon can chill, but he couldn't find happiness because happiness was not found in the happenings around him, but happiness was found in the fear of God. And Solomon actually discovered that quickly. Finally, the fear 
of the Lord is what gives us the adjustment to all the inharmonious circumstances and conditions under the sun. Today, we live in a world of various challenges and various troubles and various situations. But when we have the fear of God, then we can walk with adjusted life. There are people who cannot adjust. But Paul said, I know how to adjust my life because I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. He said, I know how to abase. I know how to abound. Solomon is saying to us, for us to say like Paul, that we can live our lives adjusted in God, adjusted in Christ. Here under the sun, we need to be men and women who fear God. I believe strongly that this message has blessed us. So I want us to pray quickly. I want to pray that God will baptize us with the fear of God. God will fill your life with the fear of God. God will bring us to the bottom line of life. That the bottom line of everything is the fear of God. Whether we are educated or not. Whether we are married or yet to marry. Whether we, are, we have children or yet to have children. Whether we have money, whether we have buildings or yet to have. Solomon says the bottom line. I want us to pray that God will bring us to the understanding of the bottom line. That the bottom line of our lives on earth is about the fear of God. Let's pray that God will bring us to that place. We will understand and discover the full original purpose of our creation. We will enjoy even the object of God's providence. We will walk in the, with the root of character, which is the fear of God. I want to pray that God will give us the foundation of all happiness. We are asking God that in this challenge, in this global situation of coronavirus and many other things, that are to bring all of us to a place of adjustment, that God will give us the grace in his fear to be able to adjust. God bless you. God bless you, and may the Lord answer our prayers indeed. I believe that we have been blessed today. I believe that God has fired us up. I believe we are in the path of the fear of, of the Lord. I believe that God himself has brought us to that place. I can see people becoming whole. I can see people coming to the full original purpose of their, their creation. I can see men and women providing God with an object for their providence. And I can see men bearing the fruit of character. I mean, having the roots of character. Bearing the fruit of character. I mean, having leaves and branches of character. I can also see even men are receiving the foundation of happiness. It is not going to be in the happenings, whether you have money in your pocket or not. But the fear of the Lord is serving as a foundation of our happiness. And I can see men even walking in adjustment of life. May the Lord bless you today. I believe you and I have been blessed today, even on this mega platform, with this mega breath devotional for Mega Carries International by your brother, servant, and your friend, Shamusin Glory Abbe, the West Smith. If you have been blessed, you can visit us on our website, www.megacarries.org, or tune in to our YouTube channel at Mega Carries Online. You can do the same by connecting to our Facebook and our Instagram account at Mega Carries Online, and you will never be the same again. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow. And I know that tomorrow by this time, you have a testimony to share, and you would have come to the place where the glory of God is all over you. I pronounce these blessings of God upon you, upon your family, upon your workplace, upon your children, upon your business, and upon everything you do. May the Lord God himself cause every blessing that he has put together, deposited in the midst of his fear, to be your portion. I see the Lord even, even visiting someone right now and bringing you to that place of fulfillment, that place of restoration, that place of transformation. I see the Lord restoring you from everything that you lost in life. And I see the Lord bringing you to a place of full happiness, full joy, even to the glory 
and the praise of, of his name. I see the Lord putting a song in somebody's mouth today. I see the Lord causing somebody to rejoice again. I see the Lord taking away somebody's shame and somebody's reproach. I see the Lord clothing someone with a garment of praise, removing the garment of heaviness. And I see the oil of gladness coming upon someone. In the body that moves in Zion, I see the Lord bringing you joy and the oil of gladness is a portion. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and may your day be fruitful in Him. In Jesus' name, Amen.